Hi there, my name's Mark and I want to give you an overview of the project management tools we use to manage projects here at High Rise Digital. So first of all, we're going to have a quick overview of the project management software which we use, which is called Trello. I'm sure you may have come across it on the internet, it's quite a popular system and we think it's a really good tool for helping manage projects and keep them moving in the right direction. So here we've got um, a Trello board. Uh, this is just our default one that we always start off with and I just want to talk you some of the features with Trello and how it works. So each project will consist of one board and you can think about the board as like a big whiteboard on a wall and on the whiteboard you can see we've got lists, we've got tasks which are cards and so on. So let's talk through some of these different things. So a list is essentially these items here. So we've got reference, backlog, next priorities. And lists uh, are essentially a collection of different tasks. We can move lists around as well by dragging and dropping them. I wouldn't recommend that. We, we like to keep the order the way it is because it's a natural flow of progression. But we'll look at that later on. And inside a list, it can have a list of tasks here, the list of tasks. We'll talk about those in a sec. Um, What's important here is that the lists that we've got here are kind of the ones that work really well for our project uh, and we'd encourage clients not to create additional lists without some consultation and discussion. Now inside of a list you can have cards, so here are some of the cards in this list. So if I click on a card you can see that a card can have a title, in this case project specification, and it can also have a description. Now the title should be a really short introduction of what that particular task or card task is. And the description should be a more detailed explanation of the, the issue or the task or the problem or whatever actually this is particularly going to be about. Now the great thing about these cards is that you can have uh, comments. So we can have a whole host of discussion about the card um, which can take place about that particular task. You'll also notice that you can drag and drop files into this box, so we could have images and screenshots to explain what's going on. You can even drop little videos in there. Um, you can just click on that and then choose to upload from any specific place. So that's um, cards. And the cards can be reordered in the list. And the thing we try to do is make sure that the most high priority card is at the top and we work from top to bottom when we're looking at tasks in lists. Um, it is important that a card is a task. It's not a general point of discussion. Uh, a card should be a specific task that someone needs to complete and that we can track the progress of that task. So we'd ask that cards are actual tasks. Now, when I clicked on this card, you might have noticed that there was a members um, uh, a button up in the top right hand corner here. If I click on that, you can see all the members that are currently viewing this board or are active on this board. And usually that's our team here at High Rise Digital and obviously your team and yourself at your, your uh, organisation. And now what you can do is assign members to cards and they might be the people that are responsible for that particular task. It might be the people that are actually completing that task. Um, and it gives a good overview of which uh, responsibilities an, an individual person has got. You can also do what's called mentions. So for example, if I wanted to mention my Keith colleague, that just means give him a little nudge and he'll get a notification and be aware that I need his attention on this card. I can use the at symbol and then if I start typing Keith's name, you can see it comes up with him and I can just either press the tab key or click on uh, Keith's name to mention him. Once that comment is saved, I, he would get a notification via email that he needs you know, to have a look at this card because there's something there that we need to, to chat about. <clears throat> Um, so let's have a look at the actual board that we're going to use then. So the High Rise Digital Project Board. This is uh, what we start off all projects with. And I want to just talk through the lists that we have and the project workflow that will happen on this particular board. <clears throat> so let's start off on the left hand side with the reference column. This, as it says, is got cards which have got reference information on. The card with project specification will usually link to your project specification if you're working on a fixed cost basis. Trello management and guidelines is essentially outlining how to use the Trello board, uh, what we've kind of just been through in the first part of this video. And then there's some other cards on there as well, just about reference things that you might be interested in looking at. The next part, uh, lists are where it gets kind of interesting in terms of our project management. So let's start with this list called backlog uh, and the stuff um, in there. So the backlog list is essentially a list of all of the tasks that we know that we have to complete. Um, but 
we've not actively working on them at this point in time. Now might not be the right time to work on those particular tasks. It may be that they require uh, work to be done before they can start. It may be that there's no budget for them at the moment, but there's stuff we know in the future is going to have to happen. So if we're developing a website for you, we'll have all the tasks on there that make the website complete. Now the next column, the next priorities, these are the tickets that are actively taking place or the next priorities for the next few weeks, the next few days. And we've said here that we want a maximum of 10 tickets. We don't want that to get overloaded. We want to make sure that those tickets are allocated to the right people. So you can see there, we've got a couple of um, uh, tickets or a couple of cards, should we say, in that particular list. If I click on this particular card, we can see this has got an attachment and it's got a title and, and um, a description. They, they should probably be assigned to a person. Um, certainly at this stage, it's probably likely that we know who's going to be completing the card. And it's also worth mentioning about labels here. Um, we can add labels to do with priority, and we just click on those to add them. There's also some other labels as a type of task, uh, and like for example, there's a, um, a, an awaiting client feedback one there. They can be handy just to see the status of a card uh, and what's happening with it. And again, it's good to have the order of the cards as the priority as well. So you can move the order around just by dragging and dropping them. Now from the next priorities, um, the person that's actively going to uh, complete that task will drag the card into the progress list and they will assign themselves as a member of that card. And what that means is that they are the one that's actively working on it. It's happening at the moment, whether it's for the next few hours or a few days, depending on the size of that card, it's actually taking place at this point in time. So. Again, people, if you're working on something, then drag it into the in-progress and we know that something's happening with that card and it's being actively worked on. And from the in-progress column, they may well then end up in the review column. And this essentially says, you know, I think this task is completed. Please can we review it for Q&A? Make sure that it's working as we suggested it would be. Uh, and then from the review column, uh, someone would just comment on that and say, yep, I'm happy with that and we'd then deploy that to the site, or it may well get moved back into progress or into next priorities if there's an issue with it, in which case that would be outlined on the card as well. If all's well, then it moves into the done column and the members of that card get removed so that it just cleans up the board nicely. So I hope you can see that from this board, the flow of cards tends to move from the left-hand side across to the right-hand side as tasks get completed. But obviously there is some movement backwards if there is issues with reviews and Q&A. So that's Trello. We think it's a really good piece of software for managing projects and we really hope that you get to grips with it as we feel it's essential for making the projects move on uh, and being successful.